We'll start by downloading the emulator. I have a Windows PC, so I'll click on the appropriate version. Visual C++ is a prerequisite, so make sure you already have it installed. For the purposes of this video, I will extract DuckStation into a desktop folder. This is to keep things simple, but you can install the emulator anywhere on your hard drive. The only things we need are the system files, also called the BIOS files. Realistically, you just need one of them, but if you want to play games from multiple regions, perhaps all three will be required. Anyway, we'll drag it into the DuckStation folder and move on to the next step, which is the PS1 games. I have them here in a folder and I will drag them inside DuckStation as well. Before running DuckStation, we'll first change it to portable mode. Create a file called portable.txt inside the folder and then finally run the emulator. You'll see a bunch of newly created files and folders inside DuckStation because portable mode migrates all user documents inside the main folder. It's very convenient. Once that's done, we can start configuring DuckStation. First pick your language and then your theme. There are plenty of good ones, but I prefer darker color schemes. Now we can select our BIOS. You can pick whatever you like, but I usually just use the US NTSC version. However, for the purposes of this video, I'll select the Japanese and European versions as well. After that, you can direct DuckStation to where you have your game stored. Controllers are super easy to configure. I have a Xbox 360 controller and DuckStation picks it up automatically. When basic setup is complete, the games will be injected into the view screen. You may have different games off course, but this is more or less how it will look like. In my opinion, the grid view is more aesthetically pleasing, but you may prefer the list view because it shows more information. Either way, you will probably want covers for your games, and it's very easy. Copy this URL inside this website and then head back inside the emulator. Go to Tools and Cover Downloader. Then paste the URL inside the empty box. Make sure to use serial file names before clicking on Start. As soon as we have our game covers, we can start having a look at all of the emulation settings. First, we'll go to the Emulation tab and enable VSync. That's all you have to do here. Under Graphics, change the renderer to Vulkan. In my experience, this is usually best for performance. As for internal resolution, 5 times native is good enough. If you go too high, there are diminishing returns. If you use these texture filtering settings, your graphics will be very crisp and clean. Be sure to enable PGXP geometry correction. This will remove those uneven polygons when you change perspective. FMV chroma smoothing can be turned on, but leave widescreen rendering alone for now. It doesn't work for all games and should be used on a per-game basis. Next, go to PGXP and enable the following boxes. This will improve geometry even more. Bear in mind that it has a small performance impact. Under OSD, you can turn on the FPS counter. It's not mandatory, but it gives you an accurate reading of your performance. DuckStation utilizes retro achievements. To use these achievements requires that you create a free account on the website. I've already done it and it works like a charm. Once you have your credentials, you can just log in and have proper achievements in your games. We can run Dino Crisis now and see how it looks like. While the game is running, you can test the widescreen hack. In fact, I would recommend that you do it this way because it's just way faster. Press escape on your keyboard and head over to game properties. From there, Go to the graphics settings and then to aspect ratio. Change it to 16 by 9. The only thing left to do is to activate the widescreen hack. After that, return to the game and see if the widescreen hack works for you. There are usually a few minor glitches associated with these hacks. You'll have geometry disappearing at the sides of the screen, which is actually not that weird. If you don't like it, just play at the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. There's nothing wrong with that. If you found this video useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. 
Thanks for watching and have a nice day.